News. New at 11, voters in California are just hours away from deciding on a proposition that could change daylight saving time in that state. Arne Santos looks into whether that decision could have an impact on Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. It's Las Vegas, full of bright lights, gambling, and visitors year-round. Just last year, over 42 million people visited Las Vegas. That's according to the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. About 26% of those visitors were from Southern California, just like Jessica Martinez. We just wanted to get away. With California's Proposition 7 on the ballot, which looks to change daylight saving time, meaning no more springing forward and no more falling back. We asked people from the Golden State how they feel it would affect the entertainment capital of the world. Really? not going to affect a lot of it because people need to travel for business and they need to travel, you know, they want to get it away. And Personally, I would think it have some sort of effect because me coming from Cali, uh, I like, you know, the more of the daylight. Numbers from a recent visitor profile study show just last year on average, visitors from Southern California spent more than $300 on food and drinks, more than $100 on shopping, and more than $45 on shows and entertainment, all going to Las Vegas's economy. But before anything becomes official, it must also pass the state's legislator and the federal government. Viva Las Vegas! Now, if nothing passes, well, really nothing does change. But as you can imagine, a big conversation, you can join in that conversation by going to my Twitter page. That's R Santos TV. I have a poll where you can answer if you think it will change or won't change. Back to you. All right, Renee.